Welcome to Excel Magic Tricks 628. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Tricks 628 to 635. Hey, we have an exciting uh, video here. We're going to use VLOOKUP a couple of times, the IF function, and we're going to build a template for calculating a discount rate, a discount, and total amount owed. Now, in this situation, we have a student name, a course that they're going to select. Oops, I shouldn't have that right there. I'll quickly do a keyboard shortcut to get rid of it. Uh, we put in our course here. We want to use a VLOOKUP here to look up the price. The price is over here in this table here. We look up the class and then we go over to the second column and get our price for the class. We have the start of the quarter, the day paid, and then we need a date math formula to calculate number of days paid in advance. Then we need to do a VLOOKUP again. This one Whereas this VLOOKUP will be an exact match, this one will be an approximate match, and then we'll calculate the discount and total paid. All right, the first thing we want to do is we want to link all of these cells to this list over here. These are the class names using data validation, and we want a drop down list, a uh, drop down arrow so we can just select. So I'm going to highlight that whole range, and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt DL. DL. And I'm going to say allow what? A list. I'm going to say what is the source. I'm going to scroll over and very carefully with my cursor flashing there highlight. Then click OK. Just like that we have a drop down list. Now if I uh, select a class I can uh, simply use the drop down and it won't allow us to put any values in there that aren't from that list. Next thing we need to do is we need to look up. Now we're going to use the VLOOKUP function. It's great. V means vertical. We're going to look up what? We're going to look up the argument lookup value, I'm going to click a relative cell reference so as we copy it down it'll know to look one to the left. That class business 214 is our lookup value. In essence VLOOKUP puts that in its memory and then what does it do next? It goes over to the table. You got to tell the VLOOKUP function where the table is. I'm going to highlight right here. I'm going to hit the F4 key. The F4 key locks it with the dollar sign so when we copy it down it's absolute. That will not move. Now what does VLOOKUP do? It races down this column when it finds an exact match, business 214. You tell it to go over to the second column. It gets that $705 and brings it back to the cell. So we have our table. Oops. Now I just, this is a great lesson. I made a mistake there. I accidentally clicked and since I'm in point mode, you can't really see that right there. It says point mode. That means if you click somewhere, you'll wreck your formula. So let's just take a look what happened. I had that table there and I click there. No problem. As long as the dancing ants are still moving, you can just quickly edit it. I'm going to hit the F4 key to put those dollar signs in again. Now I'm not going to click in a cell. I'm going to type comma, the column index. You simply need to tell the VLOOKUP which column has the value you want to return since the prices are here. I'm putting a 2, comma, and then the fourth argument is are we doing an approximate match or an exact match? Now we have words here and the original table over there is not sorted in alphabetical order so we need to do an exact match. Now you could put false but no way I'm putting zero. Much shorter just to type in a zero. Close parentheses, control enter. Control enter puts the formula in the cell and keeps the cell highlighted. Then I'm going to point to my fill handle and when I see that little crosshair or angry rabbit I'm going to click and drag down. Now immediately see there's an error. Why? Because there's a blank here and NA means not available. There is no blank over in this list right here. So I'm simply going to click in this top cell and hit the F2 key. That puts it in edit mode and I'm going to amend this. I simply want to use the IF function here. I'm going to say IF open parenthesis and the logical test will be is this cell right here, relative cell reference, equal to double quote? Double quote means blank. That is a logical test that comes out either true or false. Comma. Well, what do I want to put in the cell if it's true? Well, if it's blank, I want to put double quote, double quote, comma. Otherwise, if it's false, which means it's not blank, then I put that VLOOKUP. Very carefully click at the end and close parentheses. Control Enter. Double click and send it down will replace all the formulas there. Now the next thing we need to do is calculate days paid in advance. Now we have the start of the quarter. 
and then whatever day they paid. Now this is a later date as far as we're concerned because we want a positive number to show up here if they pay early. So the way date math formulas always work is the later date minus the earlier date. Now I'm going to simply say equals two cells to my left, relative cell reference, minus one cell to my left. Control Enter, double click and send it down. We'll only send it down this far because there's something to the left. Oh, that's new in 2010. It looks like it interpreted, there's a column over here. Wow, I'm learning something right right now on the fly. No problem. Um, this is just simply because dates are serial numbers and this is uh, 40,350 days since January 1st 1900. So this minus this is zero. So we need to amend this just like we did over here. We need to click in this cell and hit the F2 key and we'll do our same kind of formula equals if open parentheses the logical test is that cell one to my left equal to double quote which is blank. The value if true is going to be double quote comma the value if false is just that formula. Now control enter and just as before we have a bunch of cells below doesn't matter we'll double click send it down. Now let's just try this over here. Let's go ahead and uh, put business 216. You can see it pops up here and then we're going to say this person paid um, uh, 6-12 slash uh, two, uh, just 10. Right, and so then that, that's working just fine. I'm going to control Z, Z. Now the discount rate, this is going to be our second VLOOKUP. Here we did an exact match, but here we're looking up a number. Let's go look at this table. Remember, positive numbers are, uh, mean you paid early a zero, or means you paid exactly on the due date, but uh, minus four, any negative number would mean you paid after the start of the quarter. So for example, uh, 625. Now notice this table, we're going to have our lookup column and then the value to return. So we're returning a discount rate to the cell. But notice, the, the pattern here is and we had to put some big negative number here. Now because this is a template that's used every quarter, it's very rare when any, uh, in fact, you get disenrolled from the class, so pretty much no number bigger than minus 30 would ever be allowed here, but just on the safe side, I just put a really big minus number there. That way, everything from minus 500 up to, but not including 7, will get 0%. This category right here gets from 7 all the way to 13, all the way up to 14, but not including it. Since these are number of days counting, it, this category will only be 7 to 13. This one will only be 14 to 20. This one will be everything above 21 or above. So that's going to be our table. Now, we're going to have to use approximate match because notice there's gaps between the numbers, 7 all the way up to, but not including 14. Whereas here we did exact match. There were just some words there. So let's come over here to this column, equals V lookup. We're going to do the same thing. The lookup value is one cell to the left, comma, the table array. This time it's going to be this table right here. I'm going to immediately hit the F4 key to lock it, comma, the column index again is one two, so we're going to put a two. And then finally, if we put comma, notice we have these two options, but if you know that the default for this function is approximate match, the default means if it does, if an argument does have a default, and if you read and help it does, you do not have to include this. So watch this. I'm going to backspace, and notice that this screen tip right here has square brackets. Anytime you see square brackets, it means that argument is optional. You have to know what the default is, though, because optional means if you don't put it in, it'll use the default. Well, for us, the default is approximate, so I'm not even putting it in close parentheses. Control Enter. We're going to copy this, double click, copy it down. Look at that, that awesome, well here there was something in the cell you can see. Same problem, so we're going to use the same solution. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say if this cell right here, one cell to my left, equals blank, comma, the value if true is double quote, comma, there's the value of true, double quote, comma, the value of false, then that V lookup right there. And I'm very carefully going to click here, close parentheses, control enter, double click and send it down. All right, and that's looking just fine. If we want to format this, uh, we can format it as a percentage. We know that 0 0.08 is a number, but if we want it to look like a percentage, we simply can go to the home ribbon and uh, 
something like this, but watch what happens. Be sure when you use this home ribbon um, number group percentage right here, it only shows one decimal. So if you want to see more than a few decimals, you have to click the increase decimal. Our table doesn't have any uh, extra in the third position uh, decimal, so it doesn't matter. But there you go. Now we calculate our discount. The discount is simply, the discount amount is simply whatever our course fee is times this right here. Now, uh, and those are both relative cell references, right? So as when I copy this down, you can see relative means the green one and the blue one are the relative positions. One, one, two, three, four, five cells to my left times one cell to my left. Now we're getting this right here. So again, we want to do something similar equals if this cell this cell right here equals double quote, then double quote otherwise. Same exact um, type of uh, formula. It's just this part right is the same each time, and then it's just the value of false that's different for each one of these. This is a template, right? So we want to build it robustly so we don't see a bunch of junk when nothing is entered right here. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Total paid. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to start off doing if. This cell right here equals double quote. Let's give ourselves some more breathing room. Then double quote. Otherwise, we're going to do this. However many cells to the left relative cell reference minus this. Close parentheses. Control enter. Double click and send it down. And you could format if you, that if you want. So uh, there you go. Let's test it. I'm going to come over here. A new student come in. So this is student 43. They're going to take uh, the advanced Excel class, business 214, 705 bucks. We have one more piece of information. Notice the white cells are the ones that we enter data into. They paid at um, 6 slash 2 slash 10. And then the rest of our template updates 19 days early. They get an 8% discount. That's the amount of the discount based on that uh, fee. And then there's the total amount paid. So in this video, we saw how to do a V lookup exact match with a zero. We saw how to use an if to for our templates. So when there's nothing entered here, it doesn't show anything. We did a date math formula. We did V lookup with an approximate match. Remember, leaving that last argument out off because of the square brackets. We did a formula for calculating discount and finally a total paid. All right, we'll see you next trick.